What we're going to do in this video is give you a basic overview so you know how to get started. WLM's default preset is designed to check levels as per both EBU and ATSC specs. As both those specs allow some tolerance, the target is set to minus 24 dB, 1 dB lower than the EBU standard. Minus 1 dB is not considered a violation, so no need to stress. First, identify your loudness requirements. So, if you're in broadcast or post, know what spec and level is required from you. If you're in the music world, start with EBU. And if you want to keep a log, click the Export CSV button down here. Now play your audio through WLM. Pay attention to the meters to see what the loudness measurements really are. Make sure you play the entire content if possible, and then check the long-term meter to make sure that your audio complies with the required target. To normalize the loudness measurement and ensure the program material does not exceed true peak levels, you can use WLM+. Click the Trim button. Click Reset. Activate the true peak limiter. Now play your program through WLM Plus to remeasure. That's pretty much it. This is a very powerful and very useful loudness metering tool, and there's a lot to it. I've obviously just gone over the basics here to get you started. So this is a great time for me to remind you that every Waves plugin comes with the Wave system bar. And one of the features of this bar is this small question mark. Clicking on this will bring up the detailed PDF manual for the plugin you have open at the time. So, for more detailed information on WLM and WLM Plus, that's where you'll find it.